It's the season for giving, and that means shopping. And with thousands of people flocking to Valley View Boulevard for the holidays, traffic may not come to a standstill, but it can crawl in some areas. That is certainly the case. Road construction can certainly add to that chaos as well. VDOT tells WSLS 10's Christina Craig what it's doing to help alleviate traffic. Orange cones littered across the road can cause some confusion for drivers along Valley View Boulevard. But in the following weeks, VDOT plans to clear those cones, open all lanes near Target, and a northbound ramp onto 581. I mean, it's just confusion. It's, it's you know, I need to go where I need to go. And I need to do it with the least amount of impact on my driving. For senior citizen Barnes, she's still mobile, but only navigates through the maze of construction when needed. I like to have a direct path, the path of least resistance. I just need to know where to turn, where to go. Come the holiday shopping season, Barnes, like others, will have to make their way to the mall to buy gifts for the family. Not all of the cluster will be gone, but Vida is working to alleviate some road confusion. Sometime during the shopping season, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, we should see the new on-ramp to 581 northbound open. VDOT will work to reduce some of the lane closures on 581 northbound from 10th Street to Liberty. Currently, road crews have closed off the far right lane building sound walls. VDOT says this lane will open by the end of the year. And while all lanes will be open near the southbound ramp heading toward downtown, cones will remain. People tend to be a little impatient and uh, they want to get to where they're going also and uh, as a result you have more accidents. It's why Roanoke City Police are upping their patrols around the mall and cautioning drivers to go slow. We reached out to mall managers. They did not want to comment on camera but say they'll rearrange the traffic flow. It's something they've done before for many years in conjunction with the city. It's nothing new. In total, this is a two-year roads project, which is slated to be complete come the summer of 2016 if weather does not push plans behind. In Roanoke, I'm Christina Craig, WSLS 10.